Nothing I'm doing is holy. I've just got a dinosaur. <laughs> He's just a little guy. He's, I love that dinosaur. He puts in work. Um, yeah. Not as much as Colossal Dreadmaw, but you know. <laughs> What's cracking, nerds? Today is going to be a bloody good show indeed. <sighs> She's playing vampires, and we've got Bloody along with Alan from Mental Misplay joining us. So, yes, it will be a bloody good episode. <laughs> Before we jump we to the players and meet the decks, I guess, something like that. Sure. Just a shout out to our awesome sponsors and patrons. If you guys like our stuff, you should go and check out our Patreon. Patreon.com yes. forward slash ED Hijinks. Go support us. Yeah. And give us your money. Ha! Now, game. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everybody. My name is Bloody. You can find me at YouTube. I'm a Poketuber uh, at Bluebee or on Twitch. I do strategy games like TFT, stuff like that. Uh, Bloody. And today I'm going to be playing Maelstrom Wanderer, which is a giant eight cost cascade cascade. Everything has haste. It is a big thing and it makes other big things hit the board and hit my opponents with big things and make them scared of big things. So that's I'm, I'm looking forward to trying to do that today. What's up, guys? Alan, Ramp Gang, Mental Misplay, thank you so much for having me out here. You can catch me basically anywhere you can write Mental Misplay. You can spray paint it on the back of the wall at the uh, local sandwich shop and I'll jump out of the dumpster and eat a sandwich with you. I'm going to be playing Omnath, Locust of All. This is a five color deck that revolves around having multiple uh, three or more pips in the casting cost. I've built this deck specifically to be just three pip bombs. Whenever a new set comes out, I look through for all the big bombastic cards and I try to sub them in here and play Freak of the Week cards. And I'm just trying to, yeah, splash out cards on the table to make everybody go, oh no. Thank you again so much for having me. I'm looking forward to this one. Today I am playing Umori's Last Ride with Go Shintai of Life Sorgent. Ah, it's Umori Companion, it's Go Shintai, all enchantments. And yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be enchanting. And I'm playing my toothy boys and girls. Elenda the Dusk Rose is uh, helming a bunch of vampires who basically are just small and insignificant until there's very, very many of them. That's when you need to start worrying. Elder Dragon Hijinx is proudly sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. Be sure to check them out for all your singles and sealed needs. If you're thinking about picking up the new Murders at Call of Mana Commander Precons, use our code HIJINX at checkout for 5% off your orders and to let Cool Stuff Inc. know that we sent you. The link to Cool Stuff Inc. is in the description below. It was a four. Good job. I got a six. I rolled a whatever that is. Nine. That I rolled oh, nice. that many. Yeah. <laughs> I suck. Ha -ha. I got these these at the Morkwork booth at PAX and the ones. Uh, the oh ones my God. are really good. <laughs> yeah. So my friend my friend Gil, he made D twenties that say f and yeah. Yeah. Nice. There's the one, yeah, is the 20. Yeah. That's yeah. a big, like, steel like metal die there. <laughs> I'm sick. I was like, oh, <laughs> those are good. I have done my turn. It is Legion's Landing. Okay. And uh, shout out to Game Genic for sending me a super cool nightmare before Christmas. It's technically after Christmas, but by the time this airs, it'll be a new year. So it's before Christmas again. So ha! I could play it. Hey, producer, hit me for two. Temple Garden. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap the garden to put wild growth on it and pass to Alan. Yeah. Big draws, and that's going to be a tapped Zagoth Triumph, and I'll pass it. Yeah. Sounds like it's my turn. Sure is, friend. I picked up my hand upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm a little rusty, okay? It's so good. good. It'll be okay. Was the last game right. of Magic you played with Prof? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 Amazing. yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, you, oh, friend, I need to tell you before you take your turn, this deck of yours, uh -huh. if you want to pimp it out, Go and check out the new Discover stuff from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. It's like Cascade, but better. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That sounds that sounds dope. Thank you. Yeah. I will. We're getting yeah, there are back some magic. <laughs> Just gonna play tapped sheltered thicket. Oh, I untap. I draw. Oh, I also should make my tiny one one vampire friend. 
Guess who hasn't played Legion's Landing in a hot minute? There you go. All right, commenters, get ready to tell me how many times I miss shrines. I'm going to see if I can beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to do a tally at the end to see? I think we might have to. I would like to cast with the secluded courtyard, having named a vampires. One black to get one of the new vamps out, Amalia Benavidez Aguirre. I don't know how to say that properly. I probably butchered it, but hey. She says, whenever you gain life, she explores, then destroy all other creatures if her power is exactly 20. So I am going to send this here little life linky vampire friend to Bloody as a welcome back to magic. Dink, have a bop. <laughs> oh, thank I will you. Gain well, life. that's so kind of you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and I will explore, so I will see, is it a land? It is a land, so that goes to my hand. That's me. Um, I'll have Drowned Catacomb enter tapped. I will tap Temple Garden and play Scythus Harvest Hand. Uh, Temple Garden for the Plains. Wild Growth gives me a bonus. Pass the turn. One tap. Big draws. Let's do a tapped Tangled Islet as land for turn. And then one for the Cursed Soul Ring. And yeah. I will pass the turn. Why is it cursed? <laughs> it's the... The 30th anniversary oh. extra big Do zoomed in hard yeah. art. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Zoomy, zoomy red. Yeah. Well, it's time for my turn. Oh, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you the villain in this week's Untap. anime? We'll oh, yeah, out. always. Okay. I'm always the villain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, then she's what on I'm going to do. Wonder. <laughs> what? I said she's on Maelstrom Wanderer. Yeah, it tracks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm absolutely the villain. I'm going to play an Arid Mesa, and then I will tap it and pay one life and sacrifice it to search for a mountain or plains card. I like this uh, search library music. That's really good. Yeah. It's like shopping music in every <laughs> Nintendo game. It's elevator music. It's the Wii Shop channel for sure. The, the tutoring oh my version. God. Yeah, yeah. The Wii Shop music such a banger. Oh, it's, it's such a banger. All-time great. Wow. It, it seems that a mountain is going to be the last thing I can find. <laughs> Been there. How is it possible? How is it even? Oh, okay. Cool mountain. Yeah. You know, you it's, can't a, get it's an alpha. Is that an alpha or beta? That's triome. one of those. If you have a triome, you can grab that. Oh. I don't think I have a tri Oh, I do have a triome. If you, oh, unless you have a, a two mana play, of course. Let me not interfere too much. <laughs> yeah, no, I do. Yeah, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. I, I will pick my fancy land. This a is intentional. Okay. Mana splaining. Man Love it. Mana splaining. Mana splaining. Mana splaining. I quit. Alan, oh if you God. don't start a podcast now called Manasplaining, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> All right, I'll have to, I'll have to put a put a book, yeah. put a pin in that one for sure. Yeah. <laughs> man with a podcast, it's perfect. <laughs> it's called Manasplaining. It's just nailed it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> we can't air this until Alan's already done it, so nobody like nobody can steal the nobody idea. Steals it, nobody's idea. like, yeah. I'm Alan, taking it. Just go you know and make a thing. Up, and then we're just gonna see him deal and be like, excuse you, that was clearly our IP as recorded months ago. So <laughs> Alright, now that I have two lands, I can tap oh, them both God. to play something, you see. Yes. That was always part of the plan. <laughs> I've taken good, I've already taken uh, Olivia out here this game. I'm so we're so <laughs> removed from this game. My world is shattered. <laughs> I wanna play Sakura Tribe Elder. Hey. Um and yeah, I can sacrifice Sakura Tribe Elder to search my library for a basic land card. Yep. And I'm gonna do that. We love Steve out here. Steve's a Steve's all, another all timer. Yeah. And then it is Steve's your turn. Real one. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look for a land. <laughs> is that a oh, real one? Ahead. <laughs> he really is. <laughs> I'm going to play Vault of Champions as my land for turn. I have two or more opponents. I'm going to play Cruel Celebrant. Whenever this or another creature or planeswalker you control dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. So if my little guys go die, die, ding, ding, life. Woo! Happy. And thereafter, I'm going to cast... Whoop. A Master of Dark Rites, one of the new vamps. She can snack on things, and then I can add three black mana to cast only a vampire, cleric, or demon. Whoop. Ooh, yeah. that's dope. That's little... actually so cool. Yeah, I've got some cool stuff in this deck. I'm happy with it. Then I'm going to move to the Wombat Step. Alan needs to join us down in the 30s. Oh, no. Well, you two down in the 30s. I have life gain. Haha. -ha. Amalia and the vamp are coming at you for three. Dink. I'll take three. 
I will gain a life and I will explore because Amalia says I do that whenever I gain life. It is Olivia's Wrath. <laughs> oh, I was like, what did I? I haven't even done anything yet. It's your card. I'm just going to get this altered and just put Olivia mad at me on there. So I will leave that on top. Yeah. And Amalia gets a counter. And that is my go. I'll get one of the, I have some pictures of of me looking mad as Olivia Voldaren. So maybe yeah. I'll send you those. Nice. Amalia, I will draw. Would you look at that? I will play this here Shattered Sanctum. It will enter the battlefield untapped because I control two or more lands. Why aren't you fancy? I I try. So let's start the festivities. I'll tap two and play Ghost Shintai of Lost Wisdom. I will gain a life and draw a card. This is uh, beginning of end step. I can pay one uh, if I do target player Mills cards. X, uh, X cards. X is the number of shrines I have. I have so many options now. I'm going to tap the temple garden. I'll have a mana floating. Sucks for me. I'll play Mary's Guile. Gain a life, draw a card. Nice. And then with the remaining green, I'll play Burgeoning. Gain a life, draw a card. Oh, okay. Mm. Burgeon. Wow. Good you grief. You're doing a lot. I'm yep. all done. Enchantress go burr. Untap. I love Enchantress go burr. Big draws. Ooh, that's a silly ass card. I think we're going to try and speed out the commander. I'm going to drop a steam vents. Hit me with okay. your blood crypt. Crack uh, it for I'll something. I'll pay two for this to come in untapped. Four, five. All right, so time for big scumbag hours. Two mana. <laughs> and it's everybody's favorite. It's Dockside Extortionist. What, what is that um, art? That? Oh, it's awful. Yeah. This is the worst Dockside ever. Uh, it's got Kid Rock on it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why? My Why? Co- my co-host made it. I don't know. It's awful. Because Dockside's the worst. It's toxic. And, uh, <laughs> it's yeah, okay, there's so much okay, text. What does it do? Fits. It's got the lyrics to a song on it for the text. <laughs> <laughs> This Five is for the for questions me. that don't have any answers. The Midnight Glancers and the Topless Dancers. It's got the oh. whole lyrics on there. It's just oh the God. worst dark side of all time. I hate uh, it. I, I really do. Six. <laughs> we got six treasuries. Perfect. I'm going to rip all of them but one and just put Omnath out there. Hey, and, buddy. Uh, and pass the turn. What does, what your, does your Omnath, Omnath do? do? Yeah. I don't <laughs> know. He does. He's got lots of words on him. Just like everything else I do. At the same time. <laughs> <laughs> what does this guy do? I don't know what this uh, guy He's does. a 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> he costs a Wooberg, except the black can be replaced with paying life, Phyrexian. When I lose unspent mana, that mana becomes black mana instead. So yeah. he he stocks black mana in the pool. Uh, here's the fun part, right? We're gonna read now. Yeah. Um, at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, look at the top card of your library. You may reveal that card if it has three or more colored mana symbols in its cost. If I do, add three mana in any combination of its colors and put it in my hand. If I don't reveal it, put it in my hand. It's like a little bit of ramp, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. I will pass the turn from there. Sounds like a lot of column A and a lot of column B. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will start my turn nice and strong. Okay, let's see what I'm doing. Olivia, you're all enchantments, right? 100% enchantments. Got it. So I'm going to tap these guys uh-huh. and play a Wayward Sword Tooth. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. So I may play an additional land on each of my turns. So I haven't us. played a land yet, but I'm going to um, play a Simic Growth Chamber tapped and shoot I'll back my forest. Pool. And then I'm going to play Gruel Turf tapped and shoot back my mountain. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm all, I'm all I love this. That's layers. really cool. Nice. Yeah. 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 Or- he- Oracle okay. of Moldino uh, yeah. is. <laughs> I don't know if we, we've heard that one before, but I have not. That That's, That's great. Excellent. Oracle of Moldino is classic. Very, very I've good. also not heard that before. All right, and that's my turn. You go ahead. Um, tip a tip a. Let's slide all this into you. my crap. I'll draw this rat that you all know about. Yep. Anyway, <laughs> it, it was it was something. I listened to that song growing up. What's Omnes Par and Toughness again? He's a four four. Hmm. I have schemes. Uh-oh. Oh, yes. I love <laughs> no, to hear about the schemes. No. And machinations. Mm. Oh, perhaps. Yes. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to send Cruel Celebrant and Amalia at Bloody. Oh, and then the so single itty bitty vampire at Olivia. Uh, I have I a trigger block before blockers. Okay. <laughs> 
A Dunta, the first fort, will flip because I attacked with three or more critters, so I has land nice. now. Yay! So. And I can add white mana or start pooping out vampire tokens. Yay! So ding. I cannot block. Uh, on life gain, Amalia triggers. I will explore. It is a land, Castle Dracula. I will take that to my hand. As Valdar in a state, I can pay one life, add one mana of any color, only for vampires, or I can make blood tokens. Temple the false gods. Temple, love it. Let's get a land out. I always leave her too late in this deck, so now she's getting out there early. So there is paying for Elenda. And then with the last two mana, I'm going to put out Charismatic Conqueror. This is Olivia's favorite friend. It is not. That is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy says, uh, whenever an artifact or creature enters the battlefield untapped and under an opponent's control, they may tap it. Uh, if they don't, I get a 1-1 vampire with life. What the heck? That's a crazy ass card. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. Crazy. excuse you. Finish reading it. <laughs> yes. What about it? Oh, that's not the charismatic conqueror. Is not the uh, other friend. Sorry, it's not, the, not, the, no. not the steely oh, guy. Do too. No, no. Yeah, it, that, that's it. That's all it does. The flavor text. Uh, <laughs> I had the other guy in my head. Captain yeah, no. vampire. Yeah, he's mm. he's he's not here right now. Um. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Oh, that's such a wild card. It's like it gives you a chance. It gives you a choice to have them come in. It's like a lot more chill than uh, blind it's obedience. Kind of a, yeah, or authority of consoles kind of thing, you know. Oh god, yeah. the authority is brutal. What are you doing, Olivia? <laughs> I'm removing the background of this picture so I can make unhinged Alan content. I'm compelled. Oh my god. I have brain worms. I told you. I'm sorry. I'll untap. <laughs> Why is that just there? <laughs> it's just staring at me. I'm everywhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. I got you, buddy. All right, Miri's Guile. I love Miri's Guile. Oh, it's so good. It's such a cool card. It's just the best. Okay. So if I do this, then I can get that, then I can do that. Okay. I'm kind of so smart sometimes. I'll draw. And humble. Don't forget humble. No. Come on now. <laughs> I will tap here my little double buddy for a Jukai Naturalist, an enchantment creature with lifelink that says enchantments cost one less to cast. Gain a life, draw card. This is getting scary. Oh, Olivia, would you like your thingy to enter tapped or can I have a vampire? You cannot have a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Am I going to start playing correctly and everyone's going to get mad at me that I'm not just letting things happen? <laughs> uh, I'm going to tap the reflecting pool for a cryptolith, right? Oh. I will draw a card, <laughs> gain a life. Is that an artifact? It's enchantment, right? That isn't it. <laughs> oh, right. You're all enchantments. Never mind. Just That's check it. That's the rest of this game. We're going to troll Olivia. <laughs> is, that a, is, is, is that a creature? Is that, a, uh, <laughs> is that an artifact? Okay. I'm going to tap Sithis, Scythus, whatever her name is. For a green, I will pay one less for an enchantment. So that's two mana total. One of them's green for a Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Gain a, oh, gain no. a card, draw a life. Can I ask? No. Not the, <laughs> not the bedroomized dryad. No, <laughs> this guy's too much. He's coming for you. <laughs> He's beautiful. He ain't got no clothes on. No, he does not. He ain't no clothes on. <laughs> I'm yeah. going He's to celestial. Tap. He doesn't have roommates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smart. Uh, I'm going to tap Go Shintai for green. I will abundant growth onto the drowned catacomb. So it enters the battlefield. I draw a card. It enters the battlefield, I draw a card, and I gain a life. Oh my god. I'll draw two. Yeah, go, go Burr, indeed. Whee! Go and burr. Oh boy. And then I will tap the Catacomb and Shattered Sanctum for a Sterling Grove. Oh. Draw a card, gain a oh, life. Your crap's hexproof. Shroudy? Yeah, Shroudy. Yeah. Okay. And I will pass the turn. Oh, end of turn. We're going to float three and turn it into three black mana. Love that for you. So I've got three black mana chilling in the pool. Big draws. And then beginning of pre-combat main, I'm going to do a little peeky poo. And all right. We hit one. We've got Galta and Maverin. Oh, um, good. A, yeah. No, a, oh my huge, God. a huge dinosaur. <laughs> Holy <laughs> <laughs> we'll put two white mana and one green mana in the pool with that. We're going to go a little sweatier. We're going to use two black. I've used my treasure. I have no green. And then two blue. And I'm going to cast an emergent ultimatum. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. Oh my gosh. Ice, ice. You're doing things. 
search my library for three monocolored cards with different names and exile them. An opponent chooses one of those cards and that gets shuffled back into my library and the other two get cast without paying their mana cost. We love Sick. to see it. Do you pick which opponent? It just says an opponent. So yeah, you, I don't know. I'm going to... I I typically kind of leave it up to the... You know, up to everybody. That's okay. like a everybody choice. Sure. I guess we'll all look at all the cards. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. See what you got there, bud. <laughs> yeah. Yikes and Didi. We're going mono green here. And we're going to go bombastic as always we've got flip voren clux we've okay. got vigor one of my all-time favorites and brand new edition we've yeah. got big delta <gasps> oh, um, god. oh my god okay uh a suggestion to the table if i may uh <laughs> you send, may send the 12 12 <laughs> the fuck out of here yeah, yeah that's that's absolutely yeah, my choice i don't want to play in everything <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hand. uh yes yeah. i i have olivia's wrath and it might be a good time to fire that off next turn, and I can't oh, no. kill a 12-12. All right, right so. Galta goes back. He's a new addition. I put him in yesterday. Galta's sweet, but holy <laughs> be concerned. <laughs> <laughs> I have not played that one yet, so I'm excited about it. All right. Sorry, Vigor. sorry to ruin your fun, but oh uh, no, no, no! You I'm can't have here. all the fun. <laughs> I'm being, I'm being uh, bombastic as always. I've still got two white mana floating. I guess we'll turn into black mana at the end of the turn, which is silly. You do have to go get your forests with. Yep. Uh, yeah. Go get two forests, and I think they're gonna be triomes. Nothing I'm doing is holy. I've just got a dinosaur. <laughs> He's just a little guy. He's, I love that dinosaur. He puts in work. Um, yeah. Not as much as Colossal Dread Mob, but you know. <laughs> still waiting for that a secret layer. I ordered the cosmic one. Uh, I'm gonna get a Ketria Triome, and we'll get a Scattered Groves. Cool. Uh, it's a cycle forest, and I will, against my better judgment, I will play the Ketria Triome, Olivia. I will take this opportunity to put a World Tree on the battlefield. Nice. Oh wow. I'm gonna push Dockside and Omnath at uh, Ailey. <laughs> That's fair. I will not block. Yes. Take five. <laughs> Take five. And I pass the turn. My oh, white uh, mana turns. Oh. You, two creatures came in untapped on your side. Would you like to give oh, me two right. on ones um, or tap your guys? I will leave. I will have Vigor come in tapped. I will have Vorin Clux come in untapped. Okay. I get a life linky vampire. I will pass oh, turn. Oh, so many of them prepared. <laughs> Dude, look. So many vampires. <laughs> Okay, let's see what happens here. I need a specific type of color of mana here from the top. Okay, so does anyone have any artifacts on the board? Not me. I got one. <laughs> Soul ring. None what is it? Soul, Your Soul ring. ring. You're the only one, huh? Only one. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to start doing things. So I'm going to put a mountain. And because of my sword tooth, I'm gonna put a forest as well. No one yeah, saw those coming. Aha. Uh -huh. Olivia! Uh, well, let's see. Oh, Olivia? I do. Uh, <laughs> I will pay two life for Sacred Foundry, or Stomping Ground untapped. Ooh. It's fine. Oh, wow. All right, so y'all, how much of a problem is Omnath? <laughs> uh, a problem I can deal with. Okay. It's, wow. it's, yeah. it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about you it. You guys fine. know what you I'm know. I have a board wipe know. in my hand. I know. <laughs> and then how strong are the other? How strong are the Vorinclex? I've got a. It's a six-six trample reach, and I can turn it into a saga if it sticks around. And the saga is stupid. How <laughs> thick is the vigor? <laughs> vigor is a six-six as well. He's tapped though. Okay, guys, what do you think I should get rid of? Probably the one that's tapping everything, right? Yeah, and making more one. vamps. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, does this the celebrant triggers on everybody's creatures or just yours? Whenever this or another creature or a planeswalker you control dies, so this is just you for me. Control. Elenda is for every creature, so mm. when creatures die, she gets chunky. And she has no mm. counters on her right now. None at the moment. That's a good target. <laughs> yeah, but if she keeps on getting vamps, she's just going to be able to do so many more things. That's true. I think I'm going to loop. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I want to play Kogla, the Titan Ape. Oh, monkey. Nice. Big old I monkey. monkey. <laughs> yeah. And then monkey is going to fight uh, your guy that um, makes vamps. This guy? Yeah, sure. That happens. It dies. Elenda will um, see it dying and get a counter. Would you like the monkey to enter tapped? Yeah, I'll tap the monkey. Okay. 
cool. So then. Yes. Uh, in an attempt to do literally oh, anything hang. else. Sorry, sorry. One. Th I have oh. another trigger. A creature I control died. Each opponent will lose one. Ding, 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 ding. I'll gain a life, and then Amalia will explore. I have revealed Door of Destinies. This is another big problem, so yes. Oh, you wanting to kill my vampires is very, very correct. But let me deal with Alan first, then you can kill them. <laughs> okay. All right, I will uh, I will end my turn then. I'm fine, I'm chilling here. Draw my Door of Destinies, that is revealed. I'm gonna play Castle Dracula as my land for turn. I'm gonna tap Master of Dark Rites to sacrifice one of these vampires. Everyone will lose a life off of Cruel Celebrant. I will gain a life. I will explore with Amalia. It is Indulgent Aristocrat on top of my deck. I will put a counter on Amalia. I'll put a counter on Elenda. I have three black mana that I can only use for vampires. I'll play a fourth Sanctum Squeaker. Oh like no. call that. Whenever a vampire you control attacks, each opponent loses one life. You gain one life. Oh god. <laughs> yep. <sighs> <laughs> we will be experiencing pain. One, two, three, we four. Will. I am going to cost Olivia's Wrath for X equals six. Each non-vampire creature gets minus X minus X, where X is the number of vampires you control. If that resolves, I need a count of creatures, please. Four creatures for me. Four, five, six. So ten. Yeah. Here, I'll bad. use my magic it was finger. Bad. So let's. <laughs> Alenda's gonna get so huge. Yeah. Um, yeah. Vigor oh. shuffles into my library. Yes. Okay. You so know, in okay. retrospect, the monkey probably should have done something else, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you have your fun. So things died. This is only creatures that I control dies, so that's good. You have done your thing. This is attacks. Okay. So then I am going to move to combat. I, I assume this is where the, the yardstick to the wrist comes in. Uh, Pretty much, <laughs> this yeah. Is, this is where... Um, the the I, <laughs> yeah. Don't play ultimatums. <laughs> this is gonna get a little. There's many triggers about to happen, so we'll do this slowly, phase at a time. I am going to swing Elenda at Olivia, Amalia, Cruel Celebrant, and the Vampire at Alan. So I have triggers before you guys do anything or block, but you can't. Everyone will lose a life, so they'll lose four. So minus four for each of you, four for me. This is a trigger single things so amalia is going to trigger four times so i reveal indulgent aristocrat on top of my library four times this becomes seven guys i'm beginning to think there were multiple better targets for my monkey <laughs> yeah <laughs> monkey see monkey do monkey dead <laughs> yeah right <laughs> so yeah she explored she get her Got her counters, you gained a life. So then, Olivia, you've got 13 coming at you. And then, Alan, you've got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I take 11 plus the other four. I, I think even if you'd have blown up Alenda, she could have cast it again and done the board wipe anyway. Oh, okay. All right, so, cool. I would have been one mana short, I think. So, uh, yeah, Olivia, you have 13 commander damage on you. I gain 14 life. And then two more instances of explore. So Amalia's at nine. But this is post combat, so it doesn't affect life totals. Problems! Why do you purpose. have 58 health? Because <laughs> Alenda is a great magic card. <laughs> that's cool. I'm just biding my time over here. It's okay, I'll do stuff. Yeah, that's why I didn't hit you, because you haven't done anything cool yet, so. Thank you. Do something cool and then I'll hit you. <laughs> Don't I'm, do anything I'm cool, and then she's already honor bound that she's not gonna hit you, so nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll draw. Uh, I have Miri's Guild, so exactly. I'm just doing vampire things. This was my Edgar Markov deck that I dismantled because I didn't like playing him anymore. I'll tap seven for Nyx Bloom Ancient. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, schnitzels. Oh my god, that's so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, I just need to draw a land, and then please. I'm going to tap these two friends. Actually, I only need to. Yeah, because I still have to have the floating. For Revenge of Ravens. Ooh, nice. What? Uh, whenever a creature attacks me or a planeswalker I control, that creature's controller loses a life, I gain a life. Nice. Cool. Ow. Um, Just the art looks painful. <laughs> yes. I am going to pass Ayla turn. <laughs> uh, end of turn, I'm going to cycle this Scattered Groves and draw a card. Then I'm going to untap and draw a card. And that's not good. I'm going to shock in a Temple Garden. Hate it. Um, <laughs> and then I think I either like stay pants down here which I don't like. <laughs> right. Play my commander. 
I only know one thing, and that is swing, so... Yes. So I, I'll have, like, an blocker. <laughs> I'm gonna... Sp we're gonna spin the wheel. We're gonna see what happens. Ooh. We're gonna tap... We're gonna tap for Wooberg, and we're gonna play a battle. We're gonna play Ooh. Invasion of Alara. Ooh. That one's cool. <laughs> this I've one's never wild. played a battle before. Uh, well, I'm gonna let you defend it, buddy. Um, oh. you are what? now in charge of defending this battle. It has seven defense counters. Is that yeah. what they're called? Yeah. Ah, oh, nailed it. <laughs> when it Guys, enters what the does battle a battle field, do? It does so much. A um, battle is an enchantment that will end up flipping. I mean, it's an enchantment, basically. Uh, yeah. It's a card that you get bestowed by another player. It's got a mm -hmm. little like counter thing on it and basically you defend it. So like you get possession of it. Other people can swing at the battle and you're the one that blocks for it. So there's a backside that it'll flip to when the battle is depleted, when all the counters are gone. So yes. basically it's like, <laughs> is it a super stupid backside? You want to defend the battle. Yeah, it's or, really weird. Or if somebody has 58 life, maybe you want to let this battle get hit so I can yeah. use the things to beef up other people's stuff and I my was own just, stuff. I was just giving the <laughs> overview of what yeah. a battle is. Typically, you want In to defend it. In this situation, Alan is probably right. Mm -hmm. This this card, uh, I'm sure you've all heard the, the phrase, you're doing too much. Yes. This card is doing too much. It um, does like six things, doesn't it? Or five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the, the spell on the other side of it does five different horrible things. Target player draws two cards. I can put an artifact from my hand into play. Create a token that's a copy of a permanent I control. Three one one counters onto one, two, or three creatures. And destroy a permanent and opponent controls. Love that so, for us. So it does a lot. Um, but okay. when it when it enters the battlefield, I exile from the top of my library until I exile two cards with mana value four or less. I can cast one of them without paying its mana cost and put the other in my hand, and then the others get on the bottom randomly. So let's see what we get. It's probably going to be mana rocks or ramp cards. Let's go. Jeggy is a five drop. Galta, Gisela, Magic Mirror. Oh, we get a far seek, and we're going to keep going. So we've got a far seek and a sky shroud claim. Love it. Sick. <laughs> so which one would you like? Two forests or think, a forest or not forest? I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do the one that gets me two forests. Sweet. Yeah, two forests <laughs> or one non-forest seems like a wacky rate of conversion, but uh, <laughs> we'll get we'll get two forests. So, Alan, so. is this your is this your plea to not kill you and go hit your battle instead, so you can do dumb stuff? Yes. I, I was hoping it would flip a creature, honestly. So I had a blocker, <laughs> <laughs> and it did See, not. I spun I spun the wheel. I made you my can, choice. You can appeal to my fun loving side and be like, "Hey, don't kill me. Let me do some fun stuff." Yeah. That's true. Forest Otherwise, I'm just gonna kill you. You know. Yeah, totally. Don't kill me so I can do fun stuff. Obviously, <laughs> everybody knows that. I think we drop an overgrown tomb. Tapped as the other one, and then and I'm gonna far seek with the untapped man. A surprise, surprise. Uh, I continue. Do they to both rant. go to your hand? Uh, one gets cast, one gets immediately, cost, one goes to your hand, and yeah. the other one goes to my hands. But thankfully, casting the one gives me the mana to cast the other. Hey, right? we love Never it. That was a big it. win, big ramp yeah. out of that. Five mana for three mana and and uh, politicking. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Um, we'll get a Rawrin Triome with the uh with the far seek and i've cast things i'm all out of land uh so now i beg for my life i also hope that bloody <laughs> oh nice <laughs> that's great i'm making these into stickers actually <laughs> Oh, uh, that's amazing. It literally showed it to me like as a one inch sticker on a laptop. And I'm like, I actually think I need to make it. It's a good sticker. <laughs> Got your homework um, cut out for you now. <laughs> I hope Bloody hits their land so that they can Maelstrom wander all over the place. Two, three, four, yeah. five, six cards in hand. I'll pass the turn and uh, yeah, appeal to, uh, I'll, I'll use the, the, the tried and true method of going, no, please, 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 please. <laughs> no. <laughs> One more turn, I can do cool things. Don't kill me, no. <laughs> Alan, right. I sent it to you just so you have it. Amazing. <laughs> all right, let's see if I can draw my land, please. Uh, yes. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's go, Maelstrom. It. Maelstrom. It is a Hinterland Harbor that yeah. I will play. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> tap for one, two, three, six, seven, eight. And with this, I will play my commander. A very pricey commander, but a very fun commander. Fun AF. <laughs> I will play 
Maelstrom water? Oh, it's already on the screen. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> you can still tell anyway, us what it does. <laughs> I'm going to cascade, and then I'm going to cascade again. Yeah. Whoa. So. All right. Okay. Big hits, Alrighty, big hits. So it's basically it just keep flipping things face up until I hit something that I can play that is smaller than eight. Yeah. So. Whee! Yeah. No, that's just no. a land. Yeah. What's Ooh, that? a Cavalier oh, yeah. of Flame. Nice. That is something I can play. That'll resolve first, then? Yes, that will resolve first. When Cavalier of Flame enters the battlefield, discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards. Awesome. All right, then I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to discard two cards. Uh, I'm just going to discard Rubble Hulk and Thrix, the Sudden Storm, because they're just kind of oh. sitting here, and I don't even have the mana to cast Thrix. <laughs> or to cast Thrix. <laughs> Thrix so, is so And then cool. I'm going to draw two. Thrix is really cool. Okay. Now, one more Cascade. Once more um, to the breach. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what is this? Is that? No, that's a sorcery. Okay, ready? Wait, wait, wait. No, that would be. No. Oh, the sorcery happens, right? Yeah. Yeah, I forgot how Cascade worked. It's My okay. bad. All right. <laughs> Search library for a forest card. Put that card into the battlefield and shuffle your library. Okay, so I'm going to do that real quick. <laughs> all righty. Cool. Well, now I have two dudes, and they're pretty big. I have a 7-5 and a 6-5, and they both have haste, thanks to Maelstrom Wanderer. Oh, yeah, um, they do. Who's open? <laughs> uh, I'm kind of open, actually, because I've got a 3-4 and a 1-1. One, one. Okay, but if I swing at you, you can swing back at me. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I'm a problem that needs to be dealt with, so... I will be swinging next turn unless I am convinced otherwise. That's a fair point. <laughs> so, okay. yeah, I mean, commander damage might be a good yeah. solution to me. And it's what, seven power? Yeah, it's yeah, a big seven boy. Power. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to keep... Well, actually, hmm, I feel like I did get an extra land on the battlefield. And there may be some sort of argument for... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cast five and four okay yeah no i think i need to leave my maelstrom wonder behind because the goal for me is going to be to try to cast them again probably okay. i'm just going to make you I'm, I'm, I'm going to make you really question swinging at me because then it's like well do you want me to cast it again i kind of <laughs> do i like maelstrom wonder i mean yeah then sure <laughs> okay well i'm gonna i'm gonna swing my cavalier of flame at you okay your 58 health i did not on the bargain no it's blocks five. yeah no blocks. Uh, six. Six, okay. Okay, uh, and that is my turn. Um, tip it to tap all of my crap. Uh, so I draw my Indulgent Aristocrat, which you guys saw of the Explore. It has the ability to suck a creature and put a 1-1 counter on each vampire I control, which is kind of gross. I'll play my land for turn. I do not have a basic type, so it's Isolated Chapel tapped. I'm going to... A, whoops. Or... Yep. To cast Door of Destinies, this is a potential problem. I choose vampires. When I cast a vampire, I put a charge counter on Door of Destinies, and then everything gets plus one, plus one. So it's like a, a, a oh building anthem. So, yeah. Too big. Big troubles. I will then pay one mana for black. An indulgent aristocrat will enter. I will put a charge counter on Door of Destinies. So everything is now one bigger, which is great for me. Sucks for you guys. All right. Gonna get to complicated combat stage. So, you know, Alan, I could kill you, but I like <laughs> chaos. So I want to see what you get off of that battle. So let's send Amalia at the battle. And right. bloody, if you would like to recast your commander, I'm just going to yeet this massive Alenda at you. So... Uh. The, All right. Well, it's gonna be 12. it's gonna be a coin flip on if I'm able to recast it because it's gonna cost ten. But oh. I'll I'll flip that coin. Okay. I do have a trigger before that happens. Uh, Sanctum Seeker. We'll see two vampires attacking. Everyone will lose two life. I will gain two life. Two instances of explore for Amalia. I need to be careful because when she gets to twenty power, everything dies. Uh, what? <laughs> Yeah, that's her second bit of text, is whenever you gain life, she explores, then destroy all other creatures if its power is exactly 20. I see. Ah. Wow. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, so I, I need to be that. careful with that. So explore, it's a land that comes to my hand, and then I will explore again. It is Markov Baron that's going to sit there, so she gets another bigness. Two blocks then. If you would like to. Yeah, no, I will, I will Maelstrom Wander into one of them, and then okay. I'll let you kill the battle. Okay. 
So I will gain 13, 14 life off of Elenda, and then the battle will die and flip on Ellen's side. Um, a creature has died, so Elenda gets bigger, but this is post-combat, so it doesn't affect math. And then, oh, I need one more life to make it 69. Crap. Then she'll explore again. I know <laughs> that's bad. a mark of Baron there, so she goes up to 11 counters. So six more power to her and everything goes boom. So I will draw two cards. Oh yeah, I tell will... us what this does. Yeah, what happens here? I don't have an artifact to put on the battlefields. I will mm-hmm. make a copy of Soul Ring as it's the only non-land permanent I have and I don't want to make an extra land. I have no creature to put three <laughs> one one counters on and then I destroy uh, a permanent and opponent yeah. controls. What would um, you like to kill on my board, Alan? I mean... <laughs> So, meanwhile, Olivia has the tree that makes everything 3x mana, but she's just so not the problem that no No. one's paying attention. This is usually how it goes, yeah. I can't target it because of the Sterling Grove. So, uh, yeah, so. so I can tar- target the Sterling Grove. Um, if I blow up one of your things, there's not there's no single thing on your board, Ailey, that will net you uh, the six life or whatever it is <laughs> um, <laughs> from it dying, right? If I blow up Alenda, you get 13 vampires, but uh, that No, doesn't... I get her powers worth, so it's 13, 14, 15. I get 15, 15 vampires. Yeah. But that will not then, trigger any form of life gain, right? Well, it actually would. You would gain one, right? No, no, though, wait, wait, right? it's no? entering. No, sorry, I'm thinking of Corpse yeah, Knight. Yeah. This is when a thing dies. Yes, uh, okay. Lose so a life she gain gained one from Alenda dying, if that happened. Bloody is still on one land in the graveyard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, it would just be hitting a player. Not yeah, oh, it's not creatures. I'm, I'm so like yeah. convinced that this hits creatures. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I will say... I do have artifact removal. Oh, nice. Um, so that would take care of the door then. And does the, the one with the 11 on it, do they have a death trigger or no? It does have ward three. You have to pay three oh, life to Oh my god. <laughs> um, and and me with only one untapped soul ring. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you can still target it. You pay three life. Meta. Oh, yeah, it's you three just got life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you've got plenty of that. <laughs> so three life, that dies. Uh, An exile like, I th- effect would be best for Alenda or a bounce. Yeah, because Alenda's just going to net you a bazillion vampires. Don't know that any of the other stuff is really... Like, it's all scary. The Celebrant's scary, and the other stuff's doing aristocrat stuff too, right? Yeah. Let's hit the Celebrant. Okay. Uh, Yeah, I can't... Don't really want to. Well, I could sacrifice and put counters on my guys. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. I'll be co- I'll be completely tapped out. So I'm going to use the indulgent aristocrat. Sack a creature. This will die whenever this or another creature or planeswalker control dies. Each opponent loses one life. You gain a life. So ding, ding, ding across the board. I gain a life. Now I'm on 69. Oh. Yeah, wow. I win. Oh, nice. We got there. <laughs> no. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> I'll explore again. I could put this on the. Nah, just leave it there. So many triggers. So many triggers. I did this to myself. And then I will put more counters on everyone. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's a four. Eh. <laughs> Fix that now. It's something. And then, yeah, everyone else gets a counter on them. I thought I made my deck simpler by removing Edgar as the commander. I was wrong. Are you passing the turn? <laughs> yeah, I'm done. If Alan's resolved all his... <laughs> I, <laughs> my book <laughs> is... Is over and done with. I'm going to see if you can do shenanigans, Alan. Oh, we love that. I said can, not... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to draw. I'm going to play this Dragon Skull Summit. I do have a mountain, so it will come in on tap. I'm going to tap these five for triple Wooberg. Ooh. 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 For 15? Yikes. And then I'm going to pay 10 and sacrifice the world tree and get some gods. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, Have you changed this deck? So what does the world tree do? Can we pop that up on the screen? Sure thing. It's a problem. Sacrifice the world tree in a library for any number of god cards. Put them on the battlefield. Oh, that's cool. It's fun. They're that enchantments. Is, that is cool. That is cool. In one of the very first games I ever played with Olivia, she did this to us. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think it was this deck though. I think it was another. Oh, it was they a all look so cool. It was yeah, a Sika. Yeah. This was the act like this secret layer. This series of like what five of them because they split them all out. Yeah. In particular, was wild because it was cheaper than actually just buying all the pharaohs. Yeah, it was at the time. <laughs> so That's like, why sure, I'll take more like, copies. Yeah, give me. And they look cooler in my opinion. But, yeah. yeah they're they're do any of those guys give haste? I uh, think one of them does. Uh oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> no. <laughs> I don't love the laugh that's happening here. I just should have blown up the tree. It was it an enchantment? An enchantment land? No, it's a land. It's just. A ah, land. I should have blown up the tree. It's ah. more staying quiet during combat. Oh, we were real quiet. <laughs> I was thinking about the Sterling Grove, Not honestly. Beep. That's why when you were like Sterling Grove, I'm like, yeah, you know what? Go for it. Yeah, you like, yes, you do, you, that is a valid target. <laughs> Sterling yeah. Grove. Yeah, it's like that is that is a valid target. I guess you'll make me tap one of the lands and I'll sacrifice it. No, no. Right. Okay, these friends are real. These friends are not. Alan will be at one. <gasps> oh my God! Wait, so what's the ATV? Whenever another <laughs> creature enters the battlefield under control, Perforos deals two damage to each opponent. Oh, oh my God! That's okay. cool. Oh, it's fine. So Love 14 that. each? Yeah, 14 everybody. <laughs> and you so guys now are scared. if the Cavalier of Flames Me. dies, Alan <laughs> then will. Then Alan, you're on notice. No, to deal damage to creatures, right? No. <laughs> 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 Nice try. All right, let me, let me make sure I'm not missing any more ETVs here. No max hand size. Unspent mana sticks around. Oh, we'll definitely do that. Mm -hmm. uh, creatures have vigilance. I can give something haste. Creatures have menace. Remember that one time that Ailey attacked me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> creatures have trample. Hey, I was helping. You said you wanted to die. Yeah, no, no, you were, you were, you, you were. I just feel fear. This is where I run out of gas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh no. All of the. I can give somebody haste at the beginning of combat too. Mm -hmm. Which One is helpful. Haste. Yeah, because then I can attack because all of them have vigilance and then I can tap it for another three mana. Oh yeah, that's cool. So I still have Wooberg floating. I'm going to sack Sterling Grove. I have three mana remaining. I'm going to go find something, show you guys. <sighs> okay, I picked Enchantress's Presence. I have revealed it now and it will go on top of my deck. All right. And I'm going to pay two of this mana. I'll just say that one of it was black because I'm smart and know how to spend things correctly. And I'll pay two life and draw a card. Thanks, Erebos. Two mana left over here. I will make it green. And play Enchantress's Presence! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Honestly, came out of left field. Yeah. I'll be real. Totally unexpected. Ooh, um, I'll tap this for black mana, do the same thing again, so I'll go down to 16. I'll draw a card, and then party time. Do you care to share with the class? I do, and I'm going to share with the class by playing the card. I regret my question. <laughs> four. I will play Hollowed Haunting. As long as oh. I control seven or more enchantments, creatures I control have flying and vigilance. Ugh. Whenever I cast an enchantment spell, create a white spirit cleric token. With this creature's power and toughness are equal to the number of spirits I control. Which oh, is not good. many right now. And you draw but I will draw a card. Oh, are we all dead? No. I'm going to use this too. I'm going to tap next Bloom Ancient for white mana. And play Spirit of Resistance. If I control a permanent of each color, prevent all damage to me. Or that what? would be dealt to me. What? That's an enchantment? Oh, yes. Boy. I'll draw a card. I'll make a spirit. Sure do. Um, I think that spirit kills Alan. So you're, you're playing another enchantment and making a creature? It forces a creature, yeah. No! No, not with a bang, but with a whimper. I'm so sorry! <laughs> oh, no. I wanted you to do shenanigans, and now I'm in trouble because I have now I have to capitalize. Yeah, I can't now capitalize. You have to, now I have to kill us all. Everybody else. I know. <laughs> Better strike them dead. Sick. Swing at Ailey for 56. I, yeah, let me get right on it. Um, <laughs> well, I can hit her in the face for 14? <laughs> All right. Uh, I will move to Wombat. Coming to me. Are there any other? So Xenagos is going to target Eros to give it plus X plus X until end of turn. X is that creature's power. So it will be a 1411. It will gain haste. It is flying and vigilant. So I go to 39. Not as nice, but you know. I think that's it. You know, it's bad when Ailey is back in normal people health. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And then on Luddy's upkeep, I had a creature enter the battlefield under my control last turn. I will draw a card. Okay. My yeah. turn? Yes. All right. Can I get the land? Please. I believe in also, you. Also, um, Ailey, just huh? so you know, my opponents cannot gain life. That's cool. Sure. I'm not sure if even casting my commander will do anything to save us, but let's find out. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> uh, well, nice. we once more try to wander maelstromly. So I'm going to <laughs> tap, tap, one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
All right. Well, if something is to happen, if something crazy is going to happen, it's going to be right now. Okay. I'm going to cast my Maelstrom Wonder. Let's go. In the command zone for 10. Let's go. Okay. All right. And something good, something good, something good. Flip. Oh, no, that's not. That's that's just uh, creature spells you cast of power four or greater cost two less to cast. It's a Gore Claw. Gore okay. Claw. That's not terrible. Yeah, and whenever it bad. attacks, each creature you control with power four or greater gains plus one, plus one, and gains trample. Got it. All right, well, this, hold on, there's potential. I have trample now, so uh, maybe yes. I can somehow find something that combines the power. It would be an ultimatum. Ooh, no, that's no, a force. That's okay. a force. Okay. <laughs> it could still be an ultimatum. Ah, oh. oh. Well, that is Dracoseth Maw of Flames. Whenever it attacks, deal four damage to any target and three damage for each of up to two other targets. And it is flying, but too bad you're flying. I am flying Dang. as well. Yeah. I have flappy gods. Darn. Flappy gods. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Dracoseth was a pretty good hit. Mm -hmm. Drexith was a pretty good hit. He's Under spicy. normal circumstances, this would be awesome. However, these ow. are not normal circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, I guess um, my dudes will just swing all at Olivia and see if she, for some reason, doesn't block. And when I swing, uh, Drexith triggers. I would four also like to you any to know, target. as you attack me, you will lose life, and I'll gain life from. I won't gain life. Excuse me. Oh, my opponents can't gain life. I will gain life from Revenge of Ravens. Okay, cool. I'm down. Word. Then, yeah. So what, I take four? Yeah, bloody will lose four. All right, I okay. go down to five, and then this is... What are, what are your critter friends over there? They've got, they've got Trampley, hey? Yeah, they're, oh, they're Trampley plus and plus one, plus one. one. And then Dracoseth can deal four damage, and then three damage, and then three... Oh, if you control oh, a permanent yeah. of each color, prevent all damage, that would be a dealt to you. Yeah. I won't be. Ahem, ahem. Okay, so Dracoseth <laughs> is going to deal four to my face. Uh, <laughs> No! <laughs> <laughs> the Buddy, I need wanting. you alive. I need you alive. Don't Ooh, kill yourself. I love, that the, I love that producer put it up before I could say it, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's just like... Move to okay. blocks, eh? None. <laughs> yeah, I'll do four to my face, so I go down to one. Oh, um, and I'll do... Living on the edge! Ah, uh, Ailey doesn't have the thing that I take damage when one of her things dies anymore. No. I was gonna That's creatively fine. destroy me. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I need you I alive, even... bloody. I wanna do something cool. Don't die. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna shoot the no, three die. and the three into... No! <laughs> I'm gonna shoot the three and the three and the two, two of you, two, two, I don't know, into the Sanctum Seeker and the one of you, your really big thing. Okay, this won't die and that won't die either. Cause yeah, I'm, okay, oh cool. Okay. I have swung out. I mean, you don't even need to block Olivia because you can't take damage. Yeah, there's no point. So, uh, yeah, that's that's my turn. I sure okay. did turn stuff. <laughs> you did <laughs> turn ahead. stuff. Okay. I need oh, you alive. Spear of or the spirit of resistance was such a good draw. <laughs> oh, on your end step, I am going to sacrifice Alenda. She is going to poop out 14, 15, 16 buddies for me. Mm -hmm. so oh my gosh. Back there. Wait, can you go wide enough? I have another plan though. Yeah. Oh, so, interesting. 16 1 1 life Lincoln buddies. Whoop. I'll untap. Now, Olivia, yes. you says, use says you cannot take damage, correct? Correct. But you can lose life. Oh, yes. Wait, what? And the reason I need Bloody alive is so that I can all out swing at Bloody, and my Sanctum Seeker will make <gasps> each opponent lose one life and you gain one life. You won't gain any, but yeah. I won't gain any life, but I have right. one, two, three, four, 21. Nice! 21 oh, dudes. Does Olivia die? <laughs> So I swing everything at bloody. I get oh, all wow. these triggers. Boop, 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 boop. I also get Amalia to 20. So everything's going to explode before damage is even <laughs> dealt. But bloody will die. Olivia will die. All these triggers will go on the stack and then resolve one by one. So once bloody's dead, I technically not attacking at anything, but the count triggers are still there. So Olivia should die. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. But I think I creatively <laughs> killed Olivia. Wow. Huh. Without doing damage. Ha! Well, it's a good thing that I didn't have one more thing to swing with because then I would have tied. And then... Yeah, I think you got it. Damn. Okay. Wow. Ah. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Looking for the best accessories for your decks? Look no further than Game Genic. They have everything you could possibly need to protect and store your cards and so much more. Check them out at the link in the description. I, I mean, I don't always like the loss of over life was people. spicy. Yeah, that yeah, was cool. Must... 
I, I had to do it though. I was just I like, like how she tries to play talk. coy, like I I don't normally do it. Yes, you do. do this. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. That was a very solid uh corner pocket call there. Nobody yeah. saw that coming. Yeah, <laughs> I was quite proud of myself for that, and I was just like, bloody please don't die. Because yeah, I wouldn't have been able to hit you otherwise. <laughs> I know. I was I, I was looking for that. I was looking for that one last damage and it just wasn't there. <laughs> Have a, I have a proposal, friend. You want to hear it? You build I mean, me. No, you but... build me a deck. You send me a list, Ooh. and I play it. Because then you could be like, this deck does not attack at all, or it just wins. Oh, in can another you guys one. imagine? She'd be so mad. I would be. So I build you one. You build me one. Okay. All right. Let us know in the comments what we should build each other. Give us some ideas. I'm not going to read the comments, so don't do that. <laughs> I'll send her any good ideas. Don't worry. We'll yeah, we'll figure something out. It'll be good. You can write it in the comments. It's all good, guys. Anyways, friends, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Before you go, though, you should do the following. I did it we're right gonna, this time. We're going we're gonna to teach her good throws one of these days, everybody. You're going to click the things that make the dings. She's going to stay mad, and I'm going to keep telling you. You should check out our Patreon, our amazing sponsors, and any of the things in the list. Links in the description below. And yeah. Have a great week. We did. And we yeah. hope you do too. See you next time. Ailey and I want to say thanks so much to our patrons. We really appreciate your support in helping make Elder Dragon hijinks a thing that will continue for as long as we can play casual, ridiculous commander. Thanks again, patrons.